We have at least a 70% chance for two tropical systems to develop in the Eastern Pacific over the next 48 hours, and a third within the next seven days. And we now have an enhanced risk for severe weather today, stretching all the way from East Central Oklahoma through Georgia. And this does include cities like Atlanta, Birmingham, and Memphis. Let's get into the latest updates. As I said, we now have the possibility for three separate tropical systems to form in the Eastern Pacific over the next seven days, two of which look like they could become a tropical depression or tropical storm by tomorrow. You can see our centers of circulation right here and right here. In the convection for our possible third storm a little bit farther out to the east. Now, at least according to the Euro, these aren't expected to intensify much. Although our GFS does have that eastern system strengthening potentially into a hurricane. Again, though, just moving out into the northwest and likely not affecting anyone. And could we have two landfalling hurricanes in the US within the next two weeks? The GFS thinks so. Although this is highly unlikely. Not only is this over 200 hours out, but the American model has continued to spit out scenarios like this over the past couple weeks, and we've really seen nothing develop from it. With that being said, there are some favorable conditions developing in the Caribbean and Gulf currently, so we do need to keep our eyes down in this region. Moving on to our severe weather, today could be active. As you can see, we have a very large slight to enhance risk that stretches all the way from central Oklahoma out to the east coast. This enhanced risk is wind driven today. You can see this large 30% chance for damaging winds stretching all the way from Atlanta out west towards Fort Smith, Arkansas. We do also have a 2% tornado risk out here in that same region and a hail threat as well. We do have this MCS type structure making its way east through central to northern Arkansas through the morning hours. And as we get into the early afternoon, as you can see here, it should start making its way into western Tennessee and northern Mississippi. And for folks out there from central Tennessee and northern Alabama out east, this is going to be a late afternoon into the evening event. Again, with this setup today, the highest risk is damaging straight line winds, but we cannot rule out some large hail or even potentially a few embedded tornadoes. So of course, if you're in any of these risk zones today, just make sure to stay weather alert. By the way, moving into Sunday and Monday, our active severe weather pattern continues. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or sub. I make posts like this every day and I live stream every day to try to answer all of your questions. I'll see you in the next video.